All right, friends. I just changed this camera on to macro mode because I got to show you all little bitty things. Again, if you did not watch episode eight, you need to watch episode eight. I made this little needle thing, so I have a handle to hold it to poke holes through a dram jar lid. And this is for extremely, extremely tiny tarantulas. Like very, very small. This is a Cochiana Brunipes sling. Oh, shit. I have an issue here. Hold on a minute. There goes roaches everywhere. With Edward Tendall, Murphy's Law always applies. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. You just gotta go with it. It's part of life. All right, look. This is Cochiana Brunipes. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is where's my needle thing? Here is a needle. You can see the tarantula right there. See how small he is to the point of a needle, not very much bigger. When you have yourself in a situation like this, you can do a couple of things. One, you can use termites if you can find them. Macro mode does not work very well if you don't have plenty of light. This light's not working right. I don't know what to do about it. I wish I could get y'all better to use this really aggravating. I apologize. My light's breaking. It's falling apart. Dropped too many times. There's the tarantula right there. Alright, give me a moment. The scissors, the little scissors. I'm going to show you guys how to feed these tarantulas when you have a very small tarantula. You might, uh, I learned this doing E species red, which is now changed. The white roach. Over there, baby. Okay, I like using a fresh molted roach myself. You can do this with crickets or whatever. And the reason you have to do this like this is because they will die. They eat carrion readily. I'll well, see. I'm going to demonstrate to you guys. There's no sense in this roach suffering at all. It's a living animal, and I don't like it. So when you want to disable or kill a roach, the reason a roach lives nine days with his head cut off is because they have a uh, their brain is located in their back right here. So you want to stab that in the back, wobble that back and forth a little bit, and you kill the roach. You see, killed the roach. Okay, after your roach is dead, on a very small tarantula like that, that's nerves. Just so you all know, you want to take this bottom segment of the leg, cut that off, and drop it in. Cut it off and drop it in. The Cochiana brunipes will find it and eat it. Also, again, you want to check in three days to make sure, make sure that it uh, ate it. This is a smaller dram, by the way. There's also one in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is, right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's there. They're very, very tiny. This video isn't made. I'm not making this video so you see the spiders. I'm making this video to show you guys how tiny and precision you have to be in that. That one little leg will help get you through a couple molts or a molt, maybe. It's very important. Here's another dram. I'm just using Cochiana Brunipes right now because it's a very small tarantula. I just happen to have some uh, very small slings of this species. I don't have these species red, which is also extremely small. They're about, I guess, about the same size. Anytime you get into dwarf tarantulas, you can expect a very small tarantula. They do grow fast, though, and they're very rewarding. I love them. You keep a lot more of them in a very small spot, very small space. Um, and I also use these, uh, these type of pill bottles here. These pill bottles here that I poke holes through, these you get uh, 
you got a grandpa or grandma or something that are on a lot of dope, you can get their bottles, wash them out, ask the pharmacy for snap cap lids, and it works absolutely amazing. Um, my grandma was on a lot of drugs before she died, and I ended up getting a bunch of pill bottles from her, so I use them. That's one way if you don't have a lot of money. You drop the oh, he got it already. I don't know if y'all caught that on film, but that little Cochiana just attacked that little piece of leg and is sucking it dry right now as we speak because Cochiana Brunipies don't play. That'll throw that one into a molt. And the reason you want needle holes, and I cannot stress this enough, is because it will. If they can get out, they will get out. And you will never, ever find them. Ever. No matter how hard you look, you're not going to find a spider that tiny. The chances are it's probably dead or whatever. So there's that one. They readily accept carry on. There goes another one. And we're just going to keep on dissecting this roach piece by piece by piece, depending on how many slings you got. When I purchase tarantulas, I like to get at least 10 of a species. If it's just a species that I'm just starting to get. Um, or if you have an egg sack and you have a hundreds or thousands of them, you can dissect roach after roach after roach or cricket or whatever you have to take care of your slings. If you look at this one, it's already started to dig holes and make a burrow and it's outside of its burrow but because it's hungry. Feed, um, take apart the cricket. Yep, uh, wingless fruit flies works really well. If you have any of those, you can get them from Josh's Frogs, or uh, Josh's Fat Frogs, I think it's called. There you go. That little carry-on piece goes in there, and that little burning piece will find it. If they don't find it in the event, then you can offer them more in three days. I keep them about 80 degrees. There's one right there. This far corner over here, I don't know if y'all see that or not. But... Just because you can't see it don't mean it's not there. I assure you it is there. You got this piece in here of the roach. Let me see. This piece right here of the roach. Let me show you. This is the stomach. I don't know if you can see it very good. But the stomach of the roach will also be a very good meal for a tarantula. I can get it off of this thing. have an issue with the ooey gooey stuff but I can get it in there. Oh, it's scaring the hell out of a tarantula. You just gotta be patient with it people. It can seem like a messy thing or whatever because it kind of is at some point but that breaks gut does not want to come off of there. Right, the spider's trying to get this. He knows there's something coming. He don't know what. It's on the side. To be honest with y'all, I've never had this much trouble getting this off here. I don't know what the hell's going on. Alright, there we go. Alright, it dropped down in there. And that little bitch, you know, we'll get it. Um, for water, I always put a little piece of sphagma moss. Make sure it's from a clean source that does not have um, insecticides and stuff. If you have insecticides, something as small as Lysol can kill your tarantulas. You want to keep them out in an area where you're not spraying Lysol. Fly sprays, poisons, stuff like that will kill your tarantulas. Just don't do it. If you live in a city where you have a bug exterminator, um, they could kill your tarantulas. They're very susceptible to tr poisons. I don't use poisons at all myself because... I don't like killing a lot of shit. A lot of a lot of uh, a lot of poisons you buy says kills so many types of spiders and so many types of this and that and the other. Why would anybody want to kill any spider? If it was, I wanted to give you all an important piece of information right now that you might not know. But with the amount of humans that are on the earth and the amount of spiders that are on the earth, spiders eat, I think, three times as much meat as humans do and that's other bug meat so if you don't like spiders or you don't like a bunch of other bugs 
pests. Spiders are protecting us from that, just so y'all know. So y'all don't kill spiders, you'll be doing yourself a favor. Vegans are costing the world to end, really, because they think they're helping humanity by being vegetarians, but that's not the case. What's really going on is they, uh, they have, um, they build progressed, uh, crop land to grow their crops that are genetically enhanced, altered corns and everything else anyway. It's no good for you. And then, they spray insecticide, which is killing the honeybees, pollinating, which produces 80% of all the food we eat. And not to mention all the spiders that it kills, and that's one reason tarantulas are going extinct in the wild, because of progressed uh, cropland. It really sucks. Breaks my heart. Especially when vegans tell me, oh, look, you're such a bad person because you eat meat. That really takes me off. But there is that. Um, I know that's a lot of, uh, there's a little bit of water in here. That seems like a big piece of roach, but it's carry-on. They will eat it. That covers all of extremely, extremely tiny slings. And I'm going to cut here so I can give you all part 10. Make sure and watch the whole series. They're going to playlist thanks to Magical Sarah Tindall. Um, peace, love, and happiness and all that good shit. Don't forget to ring that bell so you have notifications when uh, I uh, upload a new video. Edward Tindall, Sarah Tindall, everybody else Tindall out.